surrounded on all sides But I've heard you can part the waters So in your name, come and turn the tide Staring at this mountain Chance I'm getting through, but I've heard they can melt before you. So, in your name, I'm asking it to move. Let that break. Welcome to St. David's. Today is Vocation Sunday. If you look the word vocation up in the dictionary, it tells us it means a strong feeling of suitability for a career or occupation. If you say the word vocation in a church situation, people on the whole will still probably think you're talking about having a vocation to join ministry as a priest, the vicar, or pastor. But it's so much more than that. In our first song, Breakthrough, it looked at that moment when you see clearly what God calls you to do. Even in the church, there are so many vocations, all of which are important, from welcoming someone, through setting up the church, playing the music, 
helping someone new to lead in the service. Every position is a vocation and important. How we find out is by offering it up to God and being prepared to listen and wait. If you feel God's hand leading you, be prepared to follow. Here is today's collect. Prison Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command that all your people may be gathered into one flock, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And here is a prayer for today. Lord of all, you have called each of us to serve you in your world and in your church. Strengthen and equip us by your Spirit to recognise your call to us and give us grace and courage to fulfil that calling. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And mine when will now read today's Gospel. A reading for the fourth Sunday of Easter. Further conflict over Jesus' claims. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. And I and the Father are one. In that Gospel reading, Jesus is explaining that the authorities are not part of his flock, but those of us that not only listen but actually hear and understand his words, belong to him. He is explaining that we're under the care of both him and the Father. Jesus said, the work I do in my Father's name testifies about me. In a small way, this is also true about us. When we are led and follow what God asks, what God asks of us, it is also our testimony to him. What life gives to us, we should share, not only financially, but also our skills. In our next film, Sophia tells us that God loves you. Here's Sophia. I get told I am too passionate. Too often I'm told to manage it to sedate my lips, to roll up my tears, tuck fingers back into my throat, get used to my feelings when froze, bring knees to my chin, grip tight to my breath and try to keep my mouth closed. But when all the body knows is to feel and God gave us his heart in the deal, how can I not action what he rationed in my skin? He sprayed out some gifts from the very beginning. He said no to keeping quiet, that's denial. He said no to ignoring talents, that is prideful. He said no to fear and he knows you're here. He said into the mind of the woman at the door, who's only ever known herself as poor. But she needed Jesus' blessing. She couldn't bring any more. This was all she could afford. She banged him perfume. Her knees became weak when she saw him. She fell to his feet to adore him. In the moment, there was nothing more important than importing with humility to honouring her king. She let her tears cry down her face to his feet, made her hair become meek and helped use it to clean what was already perfect. But it's about service. I'm sure Jesus smelt great. He didn't need the perfume. His disciples in the room told her it wasn't worth it, but Jesus raised her chin. He said he saw the purpose. A year's worth of work cashed into scented oil on his skin. Less about the value when it's all that she could give. Now he walks in the fragrance of her faith practicing, and her everything costs more than anything. Anything can exist in a bottle. But what does it matter if it isn't used? 
God has asked you to break open and release what's inside of you, whether you want to be the humility of the woman or the crown of the perfume or the fearlessness of ignoring everyone else in the room. There's a you inside that story, whoever it is, it is precious. Don't let comparison strip you of your biggest blessing. You are still the apple of his eye from your heart to your mind. He cares about every inch of your being. He's there for every second of your breathing, every feeling, every fear. He said, pass that here. I will love you till the end of eternity. Ignite what I've put in you and then you return to me till then. My arms are always there for your protection psalm 91 always there for your reflection now you have this time to seek me with no distraction i'll tell you dig deep learn the roots that hold your passion if it's music if it's fashion or the office you spend time in as long as you find out what it is you're glorifying find out you've got time now the world's gonna come down jesus said come down to your knees and seek him and if tears fall if tears fall let them find the father's palm he will fish living waters from your faith and if your face stays seeking, eyes stuck to the most high, you won't ever see your blessing pass you by. There's a perfume made perfect in your action. In the bottle it's no use but when you practice. Spray what's precious and learn that it's reactive. Not only are you precious, you're essential. Your doubt can be offending your potential. Your worth is still defending all the mental, mending all you're meant for, bending at the core to lift you into yours, sending out your angels to protect your course. Nobody can ever take what God has said is yours. Show me in a holy book where God has lost a war, where he preordained a victory but men couldn't perform. If he's put the wind within you, then how can you ignore how much more you should believe in yourself than you do? I implore you take heed to what he's called you to do. You are very specific. Your call is very prolific and your perfume. Nobody can smell like how he made you. I think sometimes the word vocation confuses people. Maybe you wouldn't say that making the tea is a vocation. But that's what I do a lot of, as well as shopping for everything from antibac gel to cakes. But once in a while, God pushes you to step out of your comfort zone. And that happened big time when Steve was ill. He asked me to cover for him on YouTube because sometimes it's placed on people's hearts to, uh, by God to ask you to do something. I must admit, standing here talking to you is still a lot frightening, but little by little, I'm getting used to it. Steve feels the same as I, same as I do, that whether we are making the tea for someone or presenting on YouTube, it's all God's work and has value. So... With that in mind, let's take to our Father the things we have done this week that have pleased him, as well as those things we could have done better. Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart, and we have not loved others as Christ loves us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy, forgive us. Help us to amend our lives, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. May God our Father, who by our Lord Jesus Christ has reconciled the world to himself and forgives the sins of all who truly repent, pardon and deliver us from our sins. Grant us the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mind word now joins us in prayer. God, from whom every gift derives, we gather here to worship you today. We come to you with thanksgiving and praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, we pray today for all students who will be leaving full-time education and starting out on their lives' path. We pray that they will achieve their ambitions be happy in their vocational choices and enjoy their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for a world in which even ordinary humanity fails so often. We pray for government ministers in every nation. We pray that those who lead and take on great responsibilities may not simply wish to seem great in the eyes of others, but may genuinely serve their people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the children who suffer when people put their faith in weapons and war. We especially pray for the people of the Ukraine who are in desperate need at this time with this terrible war. 
We pray for the families who have been separated from their loved ones, for those who have lost their families. We pray that they will soon see an end to the destruction of their country. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Father, give healing to all those who are suffering, whether in mind or body. Give them strength, Lord, and watch over them in their need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all those who serve the public, nurses, doctors, care workers, rescue services, and all public servants. We thank them for their continuing service to our nation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all our friends and neighbours. We pray for our congregation here today and also for the wider community. Give them health, peace and happiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those in hospital. Give them healing and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are bereaved. We pray that they will find solace in the knowledge that their loved ones are with you in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Father, we pray for our Queen Elizabeth as she reaches her diamond jubilee. We pray that she is able to enjoy the celebrations in her name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us say together the prayer that our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Shall we say together the baptismal creed? Do you believe in God the Father, the creator of all? I believe and trust in God the Father. Do you believe in his Son, Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the world? I believe and trust in God the Son. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life? I believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. There are times in our life when what we say in the baptismal creed has more meaning than others. For instance, when we're exploring what God wants us to do, then we not only need to truly believe that God knows what's right for us, but we also need to trust that we will be given the skills to carry out the work. Our next worship song is by the Sidewalk Prophets and is called The Words I Would Say. up a pen and a page And I started writing just what I'd say If we were face to face I'd tell you just what you mean to me Tell you these simple truths Be strong in the Lord and never give up hope You're gonna do great things Forget, but don't forget why you're here Take your time and pray These are the words I would say Last time we spoke You said you were hurting And I felt your pain in my heart I want to 
tell you that I keep on praying that love will find you where you are. I know cause I've already been there, so please hear these simple truths. Be strong in the Lord and never give up hope, you're gonna do great things. So don't live life in fear Forgive and forget But don't forget why you're here Take your time and pray These are the words I would say From one simple life to another Father of glory, holy and eternal, look upon us now in power and mercy. May your strength overcome our weakness, your radiance transform our blindness, and your spirit draw us to that love shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. This week, all our on-site services are at the usual times. Zoom evening prayer will be on Sunday and Wednesday at 6.30. On Sunday the 15th of May, Christian Aid Week begins. Please, if you can, do join us, as we'll be looking at the work of Christian Aid throughout the world. So let's join together to say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Our last worship song for today is Lord I offer you my life. You are all in our prayers. Goodbye.